Hey everyone, Zef here, welcome to another door overview. I find it rather interesting, we've got two escape room games back to back. This one however in comparison is set in a more scary ambience, so to just honor the Halloween month. I just wish that some games that are in a very similar genre would just set themselves apart in terms of release dates. So another door is an escape room puzzle game where plunge into a series of immersive and rather unsettling environments, each one presenting a different kind of ambience and try to leave as soon as possible before the host arrives. We all know that my taste doesn't lie in escape rooms nor horror games. Slowly and surely I try to get into them, though it takes time or rather it has to have some special or unique gameplay going on, where this project neither fulfills that task. I was kinda surprised because an experience of that sort in my eyes fits into the OG quest times with the level of graphics, interactions, locomotion, essentially like I would be jumping into the time machine. This video will be rather quick because I got stuck pretty early on. Regardless, it does give you a gist of what you could expect, which isn't necessarily much, but if you're a connoisseur of that stuff, then you might find yourself in a better setting than I did. Let's go to the gameplay. Let's begin the tutorial. Change direction by moving the controller stick left or right. Push and we can change it. What type of games and no settings available recently? Moving the stick forward will cause a movement range to appear. Releasing the stick will teleport you to the selected location within that range. Open the box on the table. Use the buttons to move to the box and open it using the information on the box. Bring your hand to the box and push the trigger button to activate. There seems to be some quality textures going on, but it's diminished completely by the low resolution, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm already annoyed with the locomotion, so it's doomed. <laughs> grab the key in the box. You can grab the key with the grab button on the controller. The box will now unlock. Pull the handle with the grab button to open the box. Get the card from the doll inside the box. Use the grab button on one controller to hold the doll and press the same button on the other controller to hold the card. Keep them separate. Combine the card and the electronic card case to obtain a new item. Hold the two items and face them toward each other. Release the grab button on the controller holding the card to combine them. I'm lost. But I also find it interesting there's limited space. Electronic card case. Did we get that? Use the combined electronic card case to unlock the locker. Open the door with the combined electronic card case. Congratulations. Now you've cleared the stage. See what I'm talking about? Going with teleportation is not the way to have a smooth gameplay. At least nowadays with the amount of stuff going on. Well done. The tutorial is now complete. <laughs> I am so tired. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to see Father take the souls of any more people to save me. In a few moments, Another me will appear to take more souls. 
please help me escape before she comes? If you succeed, she will disappear with me. Come on, there's no time. This is the only chance you have. What well, is a sudden change of ambience? Oh my god, it's crazy. Every single corner, something's happening. But that's primarily why I don't like this type of locomotion because I feel trapped. There's some kind of pattern. So I have 38 clock cycles left. Well, I'm definitely gonna go out before anything happens. It feels like I have to print it or something. Jesus. I mean, it feels very old school with this type of mechanics available. But also the resolution is not too hot here. She needs a knife, not a heart. But also, this space is very small, so not that many interactables are here. Babushka. With them, you'd have to put them inside of each other. That's kind of like from my Eastern Europe culture. I also don't like I have a flashlight. Even though it keeps some kind of mood, I don't find it necessary. Well, I'm lost. I literally found nothing else happening, so let's peruse the main menu have some screens, tablet, those are like specific stages I suppose, but I wonder what multiplayer offers. You can do it, okay well, this really feels like an OG quest release, granted escape rooms and horror genre are not necessarily my thing. With the features presented, it's very much dated and I don't think a lot of people will find themselves comfortable here. Introduce more complex settings to customize your experience, upgrade the resolution globally cause things are just very jacked all across the board. Textures might be fine to keep some ambience. Then again, you have a flashlight at least in this first stage. That gives you a lot of things to work with in terms of just polishing the gameplay and the space isn't even big so 
it kinda feels lazy with the development phase. Maybe for some escape room connoisseurs, it is a little bit hard I found, but there might be some people that will be very much interested by presented content.